Ever since its discovery in 1985, the springtime ozone hole over Antarctica has been an insistent reminder of humankind's ability to cause environmental harm. But the wound has begun to heal. There is now evidence that the hole is shrinking. The problem began in the 1980s with chlorine-containing chemicals used in dry cleaning, refrigerators, and aerosol cans. In order to destroy ozone, the chlorine needs to be activated with two extra ingredients, ultraviolet light and stratospheric clouds made of nitric acid particles that only form in extreme cold. That's why Antarctic ozone destruction peaks in October when winter cold gives way to springtime light. The 1987 Montreal Protocol phased out the chemicals, and measurements have shown them declining in the atmosphere. Now researchers have found evidence of the intended consequence, shrinkage in the ozone hole. Using satellites, ground-based instruments, and ozone-measuring weather balloons, the hole in September shrunk by 4 million square kilometers, an area bigger than India. An extra challenge was showing that the shrinkage was due to the drop in chemicals. Using a 3D atmospheric model, the researchers separated out the effects of weather and volcanic emissions, which can also destroy the ozone. The model helped explain anomalously large ozone holes like the one in October 2015, which was largely due to the eruption earlier that year of the Calbuco volcano in southern Chile. Although the hole has begun to heal, the chlorine and bromine containing chemicals have long atmospheric lifetimes, so scientists don't expect the hole to close up completely until 2050, at the earliest. <laughs>